Right, let me explain your first task. This is the Saturn V rocket for Apollo 11, which took the first astronauts to the moon in July 1969. Now, all of this part of the rocket, it contained fuel, hydrogen and oxygen, which combined together, which burned together to make the most immense squeaky pop imaginable. And that provided enough energy to take, blast the rocket off towards orbit. But it didn't get to orbit straight away. It took some time. In fact, it took all of this amount of hydrogen and oxygen to burn, and it still hadn't got into space. So as the rocket was taking off, this bit broke away after it was empty, and that fell to Earth and landed in the sea. And this bit continued on. Then the second stage, this part here, when that was empty, that fell off, and that fell down and uh, landed in the sea. And I think they recovered that bit too. This bit continued on into orbit, uh, but not quite, because this amount of energy here was used up and all the um, hydrogen and oxygen in here was burnt and then that fell away, that burnt up in the atmosphere. And what was left was this spaceship. The top tower would have come off as they uh, left the atmosphere. So what was left was the capsule here and the lunar lander here. So the capsule had to be rotated to lock on to the, to the eagle like that and this is the bit that went to the moon. When they landed on the moon it was this bit that went the eagle landed on the moon and that silver bit is the bit that came back and rejoined onto the capsule. Um, um, then the uh, Apollo 11 went all the way back to Earth and it was this tiny capsule here that returned the three astronauts safe to Earth. And it's this, I want to show you what's inside here. This is how big the astronauts actually are. Look at that. So if I rebuild the rocket, you can see how big they are compared to how much fuel they have. And that the astronauts were in fact sat on the top of a ginormous bomb. Look at that. That's how big the astronauts are compared. I put them there, right next to the size of the Saturn V rocket. Now this, as I said, was Apollo 11. It was the, the successful landing on the moon. But there were Apollos before that had different missions. And it's Apollo 1 that I want you to investigate because something went wrong. Um, they were testing Apollo 1, the same Saturn V rocket as this, our three astronauts, you'll find out what their names are later. These three astronauts were inside the capsule at the top of the rocket and they were rehearsing for takeoff. And then something went wrong. Uh, your job is to be a NASA accident investigator you're going to be given this envelope well it won't be an envelope because it's going to be online but you'll be given some documents um, if you can print them out because it makes things a lot easier for you but um, you'll still be able to do it if you can't inside you'll find photographs of the crew and uh, training missions you'll find a memo from uh, from NASA information about the launch you'll find a letter about a preliminary report about what happened at the Apollo 1 accident. You'll find a letter from Buzz Aldrin before the accident saying what his opinions were about the, the launch and you'll find an accident report form and this is what you're going to fill in to start with. So once you've got these documents have a look through. Your first task will be to put them in some sort of order, read them in order, in chronological order and try to figure out what the story was. As an accident investigator find out was this murder? Was there a crime? Could it have been prevented? What happened? And what should NASA changes should NASA make to make that successful mission to the moon which did happen two years later but what are your opinions on what went wrong on that fateful day so get your information together look through it and you'll find the rest of the instructions online